Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be discussing the CRISPR or Cas9 technique, which is the new addition to the syllabus of A2 level biology 9700. So, what is basically the CRISPR or the Cas9 technique? It's simply a gene editing tool. Using this technique, we can edit any gene in the DNA we want, and using this uh, technique, we can remove any gene from the DNA that we want and then we can insert the desired gene in place of the gene removed. So, so how the CRISPR uh, technique works, it works with the help of a protein called Cas9. So guys, Cas9 is simply an enzyme which is a nuclease and this enzyme can break down DNA. So how does it break down the DNA? This enzyme is guided by a guide RNA. So for example, if you want to break a particular sequence of DNA, so you need to target the Cas9 to that sequence of DNA using a guide RNA, which will be complementary to that sequence. For example, if over here, we want to break or remove a gene called gene A from the DNA. So guys, this is the gene A for example. So what we can do is we can make a guide RNA which will be complementary to this gene A and then this guide RNA can be inserted into the Cas9 forming Cas9 RNA complex. Now this Cas9 RNA complex can then be introduced into the cell. Now this Cas9 RNA complex will be targeted towards gene A and the target is uh, with the help of the guide RNA. So the guide RNA will help the Cas9 to locate the gene A. The guide RNA will bind to the gene A uh, or we can say this is the guide RNA and this will bind to one of the strands of the gene A by complementary base pairing. Once the guide RNA binds or we can say locates and binds to the gene A, the Cas9 will cause the break in this gene A. So there will be a double stranded break. Always remember this point, whenever there's a double stranded break, what happens is that there are some repair mechanisms within the cell, which start to repair the DNA. So what you can do is that together with the Cas9 RNA complex, you can also put a programmed DNA, which will be the gene that you want to insert in this area where the gene was removed or we can say where the DNA was cut. So what happens is that when the cell is repairing the DNA, the repair mechanisms, right, or the enzymes which are repairing the DNA can put this programmed DNA or gene in the break which was being repaired. So this is how we can remove any gene we want from the DNA and then insert the desired gene in place of that gene. This is how the CRISPR technique works. So guys, in the future, we may be able to treat the Huntington's disease using the CRISPRs or the Cas9 technique. And we will be able to do this using a guide RNA against a faulty allele of the Huntington gene that causes Huntington's disease. So guys, Huntington's disease is caused by a faulty allele that is capital H of the HTD gene or the Huntington gene. So guys, this faulty allele results in the formation of an, of an abnormal Huntington protein, which does not fold properly. And this misfolded protein, and a lot of basically these misfolded proteins, they accumulate in the neurons causing the degeneration of neurons. And that what occurs in the Huntington's disease. So what we can do is now we can make a guide RNA complementary to the faulty allele of the Huntington gene or HTT gene. So now the Cas9 will target the faulty allele of Huntington gene, right? So the guide RNA will be complementary to the faulty allele or the capital H allele of the HTT gene. And this guide RNA will guide the Cas9 
ऑटा गेट द फॉल्टी अलील ऑफ एच टी टी राइट सो द गैस नाइन गाइडेड बाय द गाइड आर एन ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू द फॉल्टी अलील ऑफ एच टी टी जीन विल ब्रेक डाउन दिस फॉल्टी अलील एंड दिस ब्रेक कैन देन बी फिल्ड बाय द नॉर्मल एलील ऑफ द एच टी टी जीन विच is small h so what we can do that the program dna that we will now insert together with the cas9 rna complex will be the normal allele of the huntington gene so while the repair mechanisms within the cell are repairing the break in the dna they may insert the normal allele of the htt gene in that break right so in this way we can edit the huntington gene and with the help of this the huntington's disease may be treated thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel allah is everyone